Hello and welcome to the show. I am Chris and this is Minecraft. Of course, you know it's Minecraft. It says it right there. Um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I wasn't sure what to do really, but I thought, hey, I want to show off my palace to you all. So here we go. This is not it, by the way. This is just the server that I play on. It's called Solocraft. Um, I personally really enjoy this server. It rarely lags when I'm having um, decent internet connections. Um, I tried introducing Daryl and and Adam to it, uh, but we kind of got sidetracked and everyone kind of scattered. Um, so, here's the door. This is the door, and inside it will be a building. Well, basically inside is the stairs, um, we're already kind of in the building here. Um, so I'll show you around here first. I'm a very, uh, what do you call it? Efficient person? Um, efficient Minecraft builder? I like to build everything I need in an area that I can reach. And I like to categorize them. Um, the reason those trees are beyond the fences is because um, there are some trees that actually spawns uh, hostile mobs in the branches. Is the branches what they call it? Yeah, in the branches. So I can't actually, um, they can actually, you know, spawn creepers and stuff and come blow up my shed. Anyways, um, so that's why I keep them a little bit separated from the rest of this pretty area. Um, there are actually some unfinished parts, which, um, because, okay, maybe I should explain what Asset Island is. Um, Asset Island is basically, if you touch the water, you die. Well, not instantly, but you will die in like two seconds. Um, that's why I have all these water areas covered, and um, they actually give you a very small island to begin with, and you'll have to build all these things yourself. They give you one tree and one chest full of things, and this is what I've come up with. I'm genius. Anyways, um, so, welcome to the inside. This is not my best work, um, but we have very limited resources and the most that comes by easily is wood, obviously, and um, oh, pumpkins, fuck. and what the? You smell that? Oh, gross. Is a... Sorry about that. Um, there was a short interruption as um, my, well, yeah, the puppy that we have um, farted and it stank up the entire room. What a wonderful day this is. Um, so yes, as I was saying, wood is easy to come by and, um, you know, pumpkins, melons, melons are easy to grow. Um, but um, it was a pretty poor choice using melons because they do not match the colors of the pumpkins and nor do they, they're they are actually a little bit harder to get than you think because every pumpkin you break falls into about four pieces and then you need nine pieces to make one whole pumpkin again to build um, so there is a lot of melons here trust me there's a lot so I am very very organized I seem to get a bit OCD when it comes to Minecraft um, everything I do I want it to be symmetrical and um, I have chest labels everywhere everywhere like everywhere cobblestone really hard to come by well not that hard but it's harder than you would think because um you know how in normal servers you can just mine all the way to bedrock and you get all these cobblestones but here you don't you mine below the island all you get is sand and sandstone okay so this is the second layer obviously um this is where i keep all my animals um all the rainbow sheep, uh, a lot of chicken because they're easy to farm, um, a few cows, yes, cows, they're very useful, and I put all my mushrooms in there because I kind of had hopes that my cows would turn into mushrooms, but they didn't. Um, and this, this is my creation. It's an egg dispenser thingy. Um, so you kind of just wait for the chickens to drop eggs and then you collect them. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. I think I did. Um, acid island means the water is acid to you and it is 
acid to hostile mobs as well. But somehow, animals are immune to it. So my chickens doesn't die. They just kind of there. Okay, and this, oh, I'm so proud of this. Um, this is a mob thingy. Um, I had to just change it a few times, add up these glass because um, skeletons were able to shoot me the first couple of times and um, spiders were able to um, attack me um, for the, when I first built this whole thing. Um, so you basically, you go through there, um, they try to get you from beyond the glass, which is a f total failure, um, and they can't go through the glass, so they kind of just floats around. Die, spider! Die! I don't even know how to hit them. Whoa, did my sword just disappear? Anyways, um, yeah, so you just kind of collect all the crap that they drop. Um, sadly, they don't seem to drop a lot of armors. Maybe because you have to kind of kill them yourself to get the armor and not let, and not let the water do your dirty works. Um, so yeah, the water kills them for you. Um, oh my gosh, I swear there is always a random chicken in there, and it frustrates me. I'll have to kill that later. Um, more cows, because it's a giant, massive area that I've built myself. Um, I would actually build even further and not put a glass wall there, but um, there is a limit to how far you can build out before you um, you actually kind of come in contact with someone else's territory. Wolves and more mushrooms. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the second level. Only the second level, because um, I'm like a master builder, so two levels, of course, isn't going to be enough. Ugh, goddamn doors, I hate those. Um, so, this is a cake room. Just a room I intended to fill with cake, uh, because why not? Well, actually, because I can think of what to do with this floor, and um, it wasn't exactly fitted for anything much. So I just decided to turn this into a cake floor. But hey, who doesn't like cake? Under construct- ah, goddamn- goddamn doors! Um, under construction, um, that's because I still haven't decided what to do with the rest of the floors yet, really. Um, here's a cobblestone generator, and what you do is, you mine a cobblestone. And then they reform. It's like magic. Um, sadly, you can't do stone. I think there is something in the server that prevents it. So, yeah. And that's pretty much in this entire floor, really. Just one single cobblestone generator. Here we are. Um, still building. Uh, very unorganized pumpkins. Yeah, that's pretty much what that floor is. I guess this is like a little balcony thing, you know? I just I just have too much time on my hand and just continuously to build until I reach the top. Uh, which I still haven't found the limit. The sky limit yet, so... Oh my gosh. God damn doors, why is it not opening? Okay, so here is the top floor that I've gotten so far. There's nothing going on. Nothing. Um, you fall, you won't die, because it's not far enough. Um, I feel like I should have shown you guys underneath as well, um, which is this area, under construction as well. Um, there's really nothing much to say, but this is like under the island that I've dug out, but haven't exactly um, figured out what to do with it yet. Um, since it's all surrounded by water, you can imagine how hard it is to figure out how to do all of this. Um, that black line is uh, my attempt in clearing this whole underwater space. Um, there are challenges you can do which give you sponge, and that's very useful in clearing um, out the area and building underwater, um, which is what I'm trying to do currently. Um, so yeah, this... This has been my, my cribs, my, I don't know, um, you know, whatever you call it. Uh, it's kind of like a mansion, in a way. Uh, it's pretty massive compared to the rest of other people's places. Um, this is 
this kind of setting is actually for a challenge. Um, so I think this is all really. Ah oh, man, putting it in the video really makes this place look small. Um, so I think I'm going to end the video here, and if you liked my video, please click like and subscribe. Um, I will do more in the future, and I will update you on what this massive place will look like in the future.